Hi kids! Wow, so excited to see you again this week! Welcome to our Ignite channel. Well, I'm really excited about this week because we have some really, really awesome news. I hope you are excited. First, before we enter worship, I've got a really awesome scripture I'm wanting to say to you today. So it comes from Psalms 63. Everybody say that with me. Psalms 63. All right, I want you guys to remember this and I want you to read it to your parents tonight. Okay. So it says, God, you are my God. I want to follow you. My whole being thirsts for you. Like a man in dry, empty land where there is no water. I have seen you in the temple. I have seen your strength and glory. Your love is better than life. I will praise you. I will praise you as long as I live. I will lift up my hands and pray to your name. I will be content as if I had eaten the best foods. So think of that pizza. My lips will sing. My mouth will praise you. I remember you while I'm lying in bed and I think about you through the night. You are my help. Because of your protection, I sing. I stay close to you. You support me with your right hand. Wow, wasn't that beautiful? Let's enjoy worship together. Today, we are going to be doing a new song, and this song is called Glorious. So what does glorious mean? So sometimes it's always good to know what you're actually singing and what you're saying. So glorious means awesome, wonderful, amazing. So when we say God, you are glorious, we're saying, wow, God, you are just so amazing. So that's what glorious means. And then also we're going to sing, oh, yeah, we're going to sing, you reign forever and ever. Now that rain is not like the rain coming from the sky. That rain means that God, you are sitting on the throne. You're our king. You're the boss. You're in charge of our lives. You're in control of everything and you're in charge of everything. So when we say that God, you reign and um, forever and ever, that's basically what we're saying is that God, you are the king of our lives. Okay, so let's get going. Let's get loose. Let's do it. Forever and ever. 
I want to tell you guys an amazing story. Your key to victory, yes, victory is spending time with Jesus. Having an amazing relationship with Jesus. Understanding that you can be best friends with the King of Kings. That God wants you not only to talk about Him, not just to sing to Him, but also to walk with him for him to become your very life that God is not a part of your life he is your life you see there's a big difference so my car that I'm driving that car is a part of my life it's there I use it in my every day but it's not my life God is is my life he's the very reason i exist the very reason that i am alive and is the very reason that you are alive because he loves you so much and god wants to have a great relationship with you he wants you to spend time with him and the more time you spend with him the greater and the better your relationship gets watch this story and we talk again Wasn't that an amazing story? I love it. I love it. I love it. You see, that the, the, the purpose of the story is to show you guys that the more you spend time with Jesus, the greater it becomes. The more you are in the Word and praying and spending time with God and learning to walk with Him, the greater relationship you'll have. Guys, this is the most important reality of our Christian life is to have relationship with God. Matthew 7 says Jesus says he says not everybody that says to me Lord Lord will enter heaven but he says only those who do the will of my father and he says on that day people will stand before me and say but Lord we did great miracles in your name we cast out demons in your name we did mighty works in your name and then Jesus says but I never knew you depart from me so just then then jesus establishes that the most important reality of your christian life is to know jesus and to make him known to others because what you put in will overflow 
I love you guys. I hope you guys enjoy it. Wow, guys, what an amazing, amazing, amazing story. I really love it so, so much. Yes, it's right. We have to spend time with Jesus. Let me guys tell you, uh, tell you guys something very important, right? There is a big difference between happiness and joy. You know, anybody can have happiness, but not everybody can have joy. Joy comes only in Jesus. Only when we follow Jesus and we understand what it means to be His children, then we can experience true joy. You know, in my life, before I knew Jesus, I could be happy. I could be happy with my friends. I could be happy when I was out hunting and doing whatever I want to do. But I, I had never had something that lasted for long because happiness doesn't last you forever. But the moment I gave my heart to Jesus, I found true joy. The moment I started spending time with Jesus, I found true joy. So here's my challenge to you guys. I want you guys to ask God to give you His joy and to experience His joy. It's so, so, so important that you enjoy life. That even though when the challenges of life come, you can still enjoy life no matter what you face because you know who your strength is. Woo! -hoo! Hey guys, if you haven't given your life to Jesus yet, say this prayer after me. Thank you, Lord, that you died on the cross for us, that you rose again. I give you my whole life and Holy Spirit come for me today. Amen. Bye. Wow, guys, wasn't that amazing? I learned something new. I really hope you guys did. And remember to go and read Psalms, what is it? 60. Three to your parents tonight. Okay? Awesome. Enjoy.